wild time. Here's an idea that some scientists are working on. Creating a major food source, protein, right? We're, we're overfishing the seas. It's well known. We've, you know, when I was a kid, cod was what they used in fish sticks. It was like cheap. Yeah, right. right. So big white fish. And then for like 15 years, you couldn't even get cod. Mm, right. right. Now you have to go to like a fancy restaurant to even get a piece of cod. <laughs> yep. Uh, right. Good book, by the way. Cod. Great book. Is it, hmm? is it really? Yeah, really good. It's about the collapse of the fishery. Oh, yeah, really good. Oh, book. interesting. Anyway, yeah. If I could read faster than one page an hour, I would read the book. Um, <laughs> but so some scientists are working on uh, using jellyfish as a major source of protein. Blech. Yeah, to uh, to sort of try and, and take some of the global impact off of ocean health. Um, I guess they can easily be farmed. Uh, you can control and maintain the population. There's an abundance of jellyfish. Mm. There's actually an overabundance. So this is something that's not very well known is with the, so with us taking so many fish out of the ocean, um, that's led to, you know, a shift in the food chain to the point where a lot of the small fish that eat jellyfish and a lot of the things like sea turtles, and we know that most of them are critically endangered or endangered at this point that eat jellyfish, their numbers have gone down and there have been massive explosions of jellyfish. So in some places, there are more jellyfish than ever, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, is one of the reasons people are considering eating them to kind of offset the overpopulation. Um, Apparently, yeah. it's eaten in Japan, like as a delicacy. Like they, uh, I googled it, and like jellyfish salad comes up, and it's just like a well, bunch of jellyfish. I, okay, it looks like so pasta. It's dude, it is revolting. <laughs> oh, like, I've the, eaten the, it? oh, so uh, <laughs> the very first shoot of Extinct or Alive season one, when we had to go to Taiwan. Um, I was downstairs in the lobby at the breakfast buffet. It was literally like we got in late at night. And so we went to a nice hotel in Taipei, the capital city of Taiwan, mm -hmm. before heading off into the bush. And uh, it was somewhere that Thomas Backer, you remember him and Mitch had been before. And um, and they're like, oh, it's this gorgeous hotel. We got to stay there. It's like amazing. It's amazing. And it's cheap because it's in Taiwan. So we stayed at this hotel. And it was one of the nicest hotels I've ever been to. And in the morning, you go downstairs and there's a breakfast buffet. And this breakfast buffet it has like a Chinese section, a European section, an American section, a Western section, and a, and a Taiwanese, traditional Taiwanese section. It's huge. A buffet is like, it's like the size of a fucking Walmart. I mean, it's massive. Um, my kind of buffet. And so I'm like, I'm in Taiwan. It's my, yeah, you'd love mm. it, Peter. I mean, you know, like Mitch and the guys, they all go to the American section. And they get, you know, two fried eggs and a ration of bacon. And I'm like, I'm in Taiwan. <laughs> like I'm having Taiwanese food, baby. Like I'm not here to eat eggs and bacon. I did that yesterday. Um, so I rock up to the bar the Taiwanese food. And the first thing in front of me is literally jellyfish salad. And in my mind, straight away, I'm like, gross. Right. But secondly, I'm like, okay, is this actually, it looks like noodles, by the way, as, right. as Peter just pointed out. So I'm like, oh, maybe like it's noodles with like a little bit of jellyfish flavoring, like squidding pasta, right? Which is just like pasta with black ink in it. Right. So I'm like, okay, maybe it's just, you know, not as disgusting as it sounds. Or maybe it's jelly with fish salad, you know, like there's no way it's actual shredded jellyfish. Like I just like couldn't believe it. So grab myself a big heaping spoon of that and threw it on my plate along with other things with eyeballs that wriggled <laughs> and um, went and sat down at the table. And uh, I'm sure Mitch remembers this because literally I, I'd known these guys for like three hours, you know, like the 12 hour flight there. And that was it. Right, right. And uh, literally I, gra I grabbed my, my fork and like spaghetti up a big mound of fucking goop noodles Gross. and uh put them in my mouth and, and just go literally just spit them back <laughs> you out didn't even plate. give it it's like old. a like what? a little taste test dude, first I you just took a put a man. big and i eat everything dude i eat everything like there's not many things i don't eat and it was just so like you know when something's like slimy and sticky yeah. at the same time like that like yeah. like, like like hand sanitizers are now Ugh. oh god yeah. it so was it had just, like a, a flemminess to it it was so mucusy it has that like sliminess but then like that sticky oh, it's just i just i had to spit it back up i literally i couldn't even keep it in my mouth and this was like the first meal i'd ever had with these people and i'm like spitting jellyfish salad all over the <laughs> table <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just can't imagine the consistency being something that's going to catch on. No. Where people are going to no. be like, you know what? Like, I don't, I'm done with burgers. I'm just going to go jellyfish soup. <laughs> just just a nice, just a PB and jellyfish. Um, you know who probably yeah. had a penchant for uh, jellyfish was Eddie. I mean, the you know, he, he had a penchant for sucking his own dick. So maybe he enjoys that texture, Forrest. That, yeah, there's, there's a clear totally. correlation between jellyfish and sucking your own D. Well, uh, what seven, comes out is yeah. quite similar to the texture that Forrest is oh. describing is all I'm saying. 
You would Understood. know from the tip of the tongue, or what? No, Understood. you just explained it very visually. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but you know, there's a thing like with bug protein too, where it's like, oh, if you you know breed a gazillion crickets and we grind them up, you can buy protein bug protein uh, bars and stuff now. So I don't know, maybe it just has to taste and not look like jellyfish. I think is the only way that becomes popular. Have you ever eaten uh, the the cricket medley? That they're, that they're oh yeah proposed? yeah yeah how is that oh yeah that's fine I don't mind it at all I've had like buffalo ranch flavored cricket you can buy them here in the states yeah um it's very sustainable in in Thailand they eat a lot of insects it's look it's not my choice right like, I'm I'm like Patrick said earlier I'm never going I'm not gonna have a burger I'm gonna have a bunch of crickets yeah but um but it is uh you know it is it's sustainable it's protein that we can readily produce mm-hmm. it's just gross wild time. So if you want more behind the scenes stuff, stuff that we cannot show on YouTube, Darwin Awards, video breakdowns and reviews, check out the Patreon. It's full of hours and hours of incredible exclusive content, stuff that you guys are going to love. Swipe up, click the link, do the thing, come and hang out on Patreon. See you guys there.